And we start tonight with Governor Gavin Newsom's crusade against climate change. The governor today offering Californians an update on his target to ultimately transition the state to 100% clean energy. 17's Capital Correspondent Aton Wallace was with the governor in the Bay Area today and takes us through new data showing how the state is faring so far. Well, the governor stresses the state's green energy transition is already well underway. He came to this Bay Area battery manufacturing plant to make that point, touting the accomplishments the state has made, while sharing what more California needs to do to achieve his climate goals. Hi, Gavin. Governor Gavin Newsom spending part of his Thursday touring the Maxion facility in Richmond, where 250 employees work to create battery storage and provide renewable energy for the grid. These are good paying jobs. These are career opportunities. Opportunities, he says, will help the state achieve his climate goal to go 100% carbon neutral by 2045 and ban the sale of new gas-powered cars by 2035. As of today, he says one and a half million cars on California roads are considered zero emission vehicles. That, as new data from the California Energy Commission shows in 2021, the state saw a 2% uptick in usage of renewables from the year before. In total, 59% of the state's electricity came from zero carbon sources, of which 37% were renewables, 10.8% nuclear, and 10.7% large hydropower. We've already transitioned. We're well under the way in this transition. As part of that, the governor shared this 21-page updated plan that goes hand-in-hand hand with his announcement last week seeking to reform the state's environmental permitting and lengthy review process. He argues the process has slowed down projects that could help get more reliable and affordable renewable energy on the grid. We need to move with speed and scale. The world we invented, process-laden world we invented, is now competing against us. We have to accelerate our transition. But Republicans caution against accelerating too fast without first having a chance to evaluate what the plan could mean for California, including for thousands of people in the Central Valley who work directly or indirectly in the oil economy. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't do wind energy. I'm just saying that once you set the trajectory forward, then the process that we're doing with the governor on board, I urge that we do it right, that we put a process in place that allows us to do the impacts and make sure that they're not negative impact. The governor not backing down. When we lay out markers, we achieve them. And the governor says as California's green energy transition moves forward, he intends to make additional updates on the state's progress throughout his second term. Reporting in Richmond, Aton Wallace, 17 News.